The TB001 is the medium-altitude long-endurance UAV, often called Twin-Tailed Scorpion, which is developed by China Sichuan Tengden Technology Corp. This successful test flight marked a major milestone in the development of the UAV, paving the way for serial production and delivery to customers. At the same time, the TB001 combat drone has appeared in public exhibitions many times and carried a large number of missiles and bombs to demonstrate its military use. It is characterized by a double-tail support fuselage design, which adopts a large aspect ratio, double-tail support, and a 20-type aerodynamic layout design. This design extends two tail support parts backward on the wing. Each part is connected to a vertical tail, and the tops of the two vertical tails are combined in the form of a flat tail to form a stressed structure in the overall frame of the tail brace, vertical tail and flat tail. A turbocharged piston engine is mounted on the front structure of each tail support. Each engine is equipped with a three-bladed propeller. Twin engines give this large drone more power while reducing the performance requirements for each engine. The aircraft is also equipped with retractable landing gear to reduce aerodynamic drag. It is the world's first three-engine large-scale high-end UAV aircraft. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 3,250 kilograms, a total wingspan of 20 meters, a length of 10 meters and a height of 3.1 meters. It can fly to the highest practical mission altitude of 10,000 meters and has a maximum range of 7,200 kilometers. When carrying a payload of 1,000 kilograms, the endurance time is 35 hours. In terms of cooperating with the ground command post, this highly automated control UAV has an effective communication range of 280 kilometers with the ground command post within the line of sight. At the same time, the TB001 combat UAV can also be equipped with a satellite communication data link, which extends the two-way communication distance radius to 3,000 kilometers. It can carry various types of missiles and bombs. In this testing, they use this plane to carry two 200 kilograms satellite-guided bombs which are for fire extinguishing to fight wild forest fire. After entering the target area according to the planned route, two fire extinguishing bombs were successively dropped at an altitude of 2,200 meters. At a height of about 15 meters from the target, the bombs open and dump the fire extinguishing agent accurately covers the target fire field. According to estimates, the effective fire extinguishing area of a single firebomb exceeds 450 square meters, and the fire extinguishing and flame retardant effects are excellent. Compared with similar products, it has certain advantages in terms of loading capacity, all-weather mission execution capability, multi-terrain short-range takeoff and landing capability. It has high power and plateau ocean deployment capability. It can take off and land safely on special terrain, and can carry four 200 kg bombs to drop day and night, and it is more in line with the requirements of large-scale high-end combat UAV in terms of payload, safety, reliability and cost-effectiveness. WZ-7 has now been fully engaged in actual combat training. It has shown its capability advantages such as high altitude and long endurance, quick switch of the reconnaissance position and set the reconnaissance heading, and quick capture of the target track based on the comprehensive battlefield situation. In recent multi-model training, subsequently, it has shown that WZ-7 can collect all kinds of information sent to the command post, which provided strong support for the air standby fighter group to launch a penetration attack. As a new type of unmanned aircraft of the Air Force, WZ-7 is deeply integrated into the actual combat training system, which fully demonstrates that the PLA Air Force has made significant progress in using advanced combat methods and accelerated the improvement of the system's combat capabilities. This is an unmanned aerial vehicle of the high-altitude long-endurance type, featuring an unusual joined tandem wing plan. Its biggest feature is big. 
It is currently one of the largest unmanned reconnaissance aircraft in the world. The large body tells us that it can fly high and far. It has a large wing load. The larger the wing, the higher the lift-to-drag ratio. The higher the lift-to-drag ratio, the longer the flight time. This is determined from the aerodynamic shape. In addition to this, there is an engine. The more fuel-efficient the engine, the farther it can fly. This plane should be equipped with optical detection devices that can be used to detect targets in front and below. Its reconnaissance ability is very strong. Besides the optical reconnaissance system, it should also be equipped with electronic reconnaissance equipment. It can be used for long-term monitoring tasks. From the standpoint of combat readiness, it can be used for maritime patrol and surveillance, etc. Generally speaking for a plane, the engine is in the fuselage but the air intakes are on the sides of the aircraft or in the abdomen. But this plane's engine and air intake are located on the back of the fuselage, which can effectively reduce radar reflections. This is because the air inlet is a strong radar reflector. Its wings also seem to be special. It is helpful to reduce the turbulence generated by the wingtip. Without it, vortices may be generated on the wingtips. Wingtip vortices are not conducive to UAV, as they reduce the time the aircraft stays in air. Such a wingtip design can reduce the wingtip vortex. Can you explain the design of the rear wing? It actually has two sets of tail wings. They form a set of layouts that connect the wings, mainly to increase the strength. To fly high and far, the wings have to be large. Generally speaking, long and narrow wings shall be used. Long and narrow wings can reduce drag, but the strength is not enough. Chinese designers have adopted a new wing layout called connecting wing. Divide the large wings into two groups. The wing and the connecting wing are an eight-frame structure, which can increase the strength of the wing. The total wing area is maintained and more stable. Since there is no right angle, it is conducive to stealth. To a certain extent, this design has the combined advantages of both a V-shaped tail and a vertical wing. What is the importance of this aircraft in actual combat? WZ-7 is a strategic reconnaissance aircraft. It is characterized by high altitude, long-range reconnaissance. If you don't have the corresponding information, how can you win the information war? WZ-7 is a very important platform for the construction of our military's information equipment. Its successful research and development has greatly improved our long-range strategic reconnaissance capabilities.